Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. I'm here for today's Cricut Chat. Um, how is everyone doing? I, I'm doing this new thing now because I was having problems with my video. So now I get to chat with the people at the beginning of the, of the show. So I don't have to do all my highs and hellos as I normally do. But if you are watching, i um, so glad that you're here and we are going to make another great thing. Hold on. I got to turn off my volume on this. There we go. Um, all right. I don't think that's going to happen again. Okay. So it's getting closer and closer to the holidays and we are in the middle of what I have dubbed ornament week. And so far this week we've made a uh, Grinchy face ornaments and we've made, uh, what else we made? We made Santa's magic key and, oh gee, I can't even remember. Can you believe that? I can't remember. Well, anyway, it's Thursday and I thought it was time to do um, this little guy. I just love him. He's so much fun. Um, it's a Yeti holding a really adorable gift in a, with a nice pretty bow on it. And inside is room for a gift card. And I thought this would be great for your Christmas tree because you can hang them up. And nowadays everybody's getting uh, gift cards, right? Because very few people are getting actual gifts. So I thought this would be fun. Maybe make a few and put them on your tree. And then every year you can use them. Or you can give them as gifts. Maybe if you want to give somebody a bottle of wine or something. And you can hang it on the, the bottle. I just think that would be a lot of fun. So um, I've done this before. But I, I've done it in a different way and I wanted to show you what I did differently. Um, let's see, I have used some materials that we've gotten from mystery boxes right here on this, on the present. Do you see how pretty that gold bow is? That's actually from the recent seasons of gifting gift uh, mystery box seasons of giving mystery box from Cricut and then also look at the white um, glitter that I used here and that is from the Thanksgiving mystery box so it's a twofer so if you guys got both of those mystery boxes you can use those or you can use whatever you'd like to use that's what's fun about um, working with a Cricut right so this guy is is kind of thick. I did use some um, some pop dots here. I'm going to show you how to put him together and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. How's that? So let me just show you. Here is our, here is my Yeti. You can pick up my uh, file in Cricut Design Space in the community. Yesterday I was trying to show you the community and I wanted to I, I needed to get my update. So if you haven't already gotten an update in Cricut Design Space um, or you haven't logged in this week, it's a good idea for you to log in because there's an update that's really good. It's a great update. Um, and I'm just going to take you to the homepage and just kind of show you where we're at here. So, um, so this is the homepage and you can get here from going to this triple uh, hamburger, they call it hamburger icon or this triple lines and you can choose right under learning plan, you can choose home. Okay. And this is the home page. This, when they talk about the home page, this is what they mean. And, um, you will see that there are all of these like categories and we have all kinds of things going on here. This is a great place to start. If you're just wanting to use your Cricut and you don't have any idea what you want to make, come here and get inspired by all of the wonderful projects that people are sharing. So you'll see we've got Cricut employee creations, we've got community, we've got social, we have that 
uh, 12 days of making project that we were doing that finished up already. Um, but you can still enter for your 12 days of making. We have the community artist program. And then we have just, you know, just other things. And here under crazy cool cards, look, there's the Rob and Bob Yeti gift card ornament. So I'm going to show you how to find mine. So we're going to go here to community. Look at this, guys, right here. Community is listed right there. So um, let us, I just clicked on that. And here, now I'm in the community. Isn't that great? Um, so easy to find. Before, it was a little bit difficult. So if you are unsure about um, the community, this is where you go. So I typed in Yeti. Um, and you will see here that there are a lot of people that made Yetis, including myself. I'm looking for mine, but there are other people here. Um, this is a Yeti. That's not me. Where am I? I don't even know where I am. Apparently. Oh, here I am. Miss Rita to the rescue. There I am. So here's my Yeti card holder but you can see other people that have created yeti also <laughs> some of these are yeti um the water jug so just when you're searching just be like okay um you know that's what comes up sometimes if you put in one word a search word and and you might get anything. So here's my um, project. It's called the Yeti gift card holder and ornament. I have um, I have it right here. If you want to find it, you can also find it just doing that quick search. And then I would encourage you, if you, if you would, I would encourage you to um, check out my community profile. This is it. I think I might change the the image here. So let's go up here because you can do that. You can replace the images that you have there. So I can go to upload images right here. Look at my photos. Uh, see what I got. Let's see. Maybe we'll do the Santa's magic key photo. That's kind of cute. I think that might work. I don't know. Let's see. And we're going to hit apply and see if it works. Well, there, that's cool. All right. So we'll hit apply. Um, I haven't got the proportions yet. <laughs> well done, but um, definitely come here and follow me. I'm going to just say hello to my new followers. There's Wanda, Marilyn, Giddy, Sylvia and Christine, welcome and uh, thank you for following me. Now I am following you back. Just a reminder, if you follow me in Cricut community, you have an option to or you have an opportunity to win a Cricut cutie uh, from me. And also um, a few other things that I find in my studio. I'm kind of getting to uh, closer and closer to um, to getting organized. But I think that's the life of, of a creative person. It's like you're always almost there. So, so um, I will send out, I do send out once a month. I'm sorry, once a week, I do pick a winner that's in the Cricut community that's following me. And I want for you to, um, to win. And all you have to do is follow me in the Cricut community. So let's go ahead and work on our project. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to my canvas. And here is my Yeti. Um, my Yeti that I'm going to cut out. So let me show you where to find it. You're going to go to images and we're going to go to image sets. And in image sets, we are going to type the name Rob because this is from Rob and Bob Studios. And here you go. The best of Rob and Bob. And we're just going to scroll. This is awesome. This is a great, um, image set, probably my favorite image set. And you'll see that there's just tons and tons of great 
cards and projects that you can make banners as well. And uh, not just for Christmas, there's Valentine's and there's uh, Thanksgiving and all different other kinds of things. So we're going to be scrolling to look for our Yeti, which I uh, came and looked for it earlier. There it is right over here. Now, I just want to point out that all of these images are part of Cricut Access. So if you are a Cricut Access subscriber, that means that instead of having to pay for each file, which is how some other companies do it, you, you subscribe to it and you pay like a yearly fee or monthly, you can choose monthly. And everything, everything in Design Space is just about everything that has this A here is uh, available for you to cut and use and to, you know, change if you want to change it. So um, it, it also, it just shows under here, this would cost you normally $1.99 if you wanted to make it. Now, if you decided, oh, I don't want to be a Cricut Access uh, subscriber, I want to just buy the item, it would just be, um, just to kind of let you know, the the, the access subscription is like less than $10 a month. And so this would take up uh, two of those $10. So if you're the kind of person that cuts a lot with your Cricut, you ought to consider um, Cricut access subscription because there's in addition to thousands of images, you also get projects and fonts and special discounts and all of that. So here we go. There is our Yeti. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to add it to my canvas. I haven't changed this um, that much, except of course, if you know me well, you know that I do not like making envelopes. So I'm going to ungroup this and I'm going to delete the envelope. But if you want the envelope, you can certainly get it. Um, let's have a look at what we get in this file. This is a little, um, the little kind of open, open envelope. And I have this really cute gold bow that goes over it, which again, I'm using this stuff for. And then let's take apart our Yeti. There's his mouth. And then it, his head is consists of many layers. So um, let's start with the body first. So here's the body part. So there's blue and let's move this. And this part, which is not quite white. So I took that to mean glitter. So I decided I was going to use my white glitter from uh, the Thanksgiving mystery box because I have a lot of it now. And so um, I have to start using it up, right? So there's two layers for the body, this really nice blue, which I used a blue from Cricut, and then this top part, which is glitter. And then there's the top of his body, which is the blue and the glitter again. And then, of course, the head. Now, the head, let me just point out, it has a lot of layers. You have the black and then this I cut, it's white. I cut it in white cardstock and then you've got the blue there. Isn't it adorable? And then there's your glitter and then of course there's your mouth. So that's all there is to it. There's a lot of cutting involved in this and then putting it together is um, awful easy, very easy. So um, what I decided to do when I, when I, went to do this was I pick out all of my, so in case you're like, how do I begin? Where do I start? Here's what I do. I go to my cardstock and I see what I have and I look and see, okay, I need these different colors. So let me just uh, make this simple. You can do this by just going up here over here. See where it says layers? There is another thing that says color sync. If you go over there, you can see from the color sync that these are all the colors you're going to need before you get started. So before I get started, um, before I go to cut this out, I always check and make sure that they're not uh, different colors that I could consolidate. So I don't like to use too many different colors. So here we're going to need black. 
We're going to need blue for the for the body and the and the uh, upper part of the torso and the head. We need gold. We need red for the for the uh, package, and we need this is off white, so I'm going to use the white glitter, and then I need a little bit of pink and then a little bit of white. So when I go to make this, I just want to point out that um, here are all your mats. There's seven mats. Now, honestly, I make these in groups of like three and four because I like to give people gift cards and I don't just like to hand them a gift card. So um, that's what I would do is I would increase the project copies to whatever, three um, or yeah, three. Three works good. I'm going to be using two different um, sheets of glitter. And then again, I'm using this gold bow. So let me hit continue so that you know um, what to do here. This is a great beginner project because it's, it's just... Uh, interesting enough and enough, you know, to keep you interested without being overly, uh, like overly specific. I don't know what the word is like not being too difficult to put together. So here we go. And we're going to do, let's say we're going to do the glitter for this mat. So I am going to go to browse all materials. Now, when you guys have, if you have a Cricut explore air or air two or even the explore original or explore one what you need to do is take your dial and turn it all the way to custom when you turn it to custom it will show you this list of all materials so um this is where i'm getting this list of all materials so i'm going to look at the categories and i'm going to go to cardstock and I'm going to look for glitter cardstock. There's glitter. Now I also have this favorited so you can um you can do that. But let's just hit glitter cardstock. We'll be done with that and we'll get started on this. I'm going to hit remember material settings because I have two uh sheets of glitter. So let's come down here so you can see I have all of my uh, stuff here. And here's my glitter. So there's all my paper that I need for this. I got blue, I've got pink, glitter white, black, and red. And then I mentioned that I had this stuff. So let's, while we're here, put together this glitter. And then we'll also do the... Um, We'll also do the gold adhesive foil. So if you're afraid of adhesive foil, you shouldn't be. It does have its own. Um, it does have its own setting, um, and we don't need a whole lot of this. So I'm just going to cut it. Let's do this. The only thing about working with adhesive foil is that it's quite thick and so it always looks a little bit kind of um, curly and that could cause a problem with putting it on your um, putting it on your mat. So one of the things that I do is I always just uh, kind of use a little bit of masking tape to hold that together like this. And I do the same thing when I'm putting it onto the mat, you see, because it's kind of like this. So even if I had a really sticky, strong grit mat, which is what I have here, it may not all stick. This is a fairly new strong grit mat, but let's try it and see if it's going to stick. I don't know if you can see it, but it is sort of trying to lift away from there. So as just sort of an assurance for me, I am going to take a little bit of my masking tape. 
and put it down here. I like to do it this way simply because I don't like to do things over. And if it gets messed up inside of my machine, I don't, I don't want to have to get it out. And sometimes it can actually cause your machine to jam. So it's always a good idea to have um, a nice sticky mat. And then also if you are really fussy about it, then maybe grab yourself a, a roll of painter's tape or even washi tape, or this is masking tape. I'm just used to doing masking tape. So let's go ahead and cut out the glitter first. So there's my glitter. I'm going to take you over here to my Cricut Maker 3. Now, obviously, you don't need the Maker 3, um, but it is the top of the line um, machine and really does some pretty amazing things. Uh, you can do stuff like cut smart vinyl or even smart iron-on, which I'm working on a project that I need to do that. And you can also use your um, your regular mats as well. I think a lot of people got confused about that when this machine came out. Oh, it's lagging. I'm not sure why it's doing that because I did take out that thing from the equation, but I apologize. Maybe I'm moving too fast. So this is cutting out my first layer of glitter. And then I'm going to do this layer with the gold. And then we'll take you down and uh, put this all together. To put it together, you're going to need some glue. So I have my glue here. And then you're going to need some pop dots. These are pop dots. These are just basically adhesive foam that has adhesive on both sides. I call them pop dots. You can buy these anywhere. Don't, um, don't feel like you have to buy real expensive ones. They're available uh, just about everywhere, including Dollar Tree. Now, there's my glue. My glue I put in this small container so that I can have really good um, control over it. It's got a very precision tip. So I'm going to use that. I'm also going to use a little bit of um, this thin ribbon. We used this yesterday, but I'm going to use this uh, today for our Yeti. And what else do we need? I think that might be it. Um, so rather have the video jumping around than the so apparently the video is skipping i don't know you guys <laughs> i'm like I, maybe i could try just doing it in youtube i know that jamie said that um i know that melody used to use the um same software as i did and it was called Re it's called restream software and I'm just starting to think maybe that's a problem. Um, maybe there it gets a little bit busy. Anyway, it's not too bad. Okay, I won't worry about it. Thank you, Annette. Thank you for that assurance, Annette. All right. Um, this is the time in the video that I usually tell you about what's going on. So I'm going to tell you that this is the last, well, no, the last few days of my December giveaway. So every month I do a giveaway. I do this giveaway and all you have to do is put your name in. You don't have to make anything or do anything except subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then you put your name in. You only have to put your name in once a month and you will win one of these machines. Um, someone is going to win one of these machines. I'm going to be doing this giveaway every month from now until... December of 2023. So once a month, you'll have to come back and put your name in for this giveaway. It's a $700 giveaway and you will get a Maker 3, which as I mentioned, will cut regular on mats, but it also does 
smart materials, such as smart iron-on, smart vinyl, smart paper. Um, it does just about everything. And the great thing about the maker, there's smart vinyl. The great thing about the maker is it has all these tools that you can use. So if you are the kind of person that you want to cut fabric or you want to cut wood, um, balsa wood, not thick, thick wood, but balsa wood or any other kind of really odd, what I would consider not average materials such as vinyl, iron-on, or paper. Those are the big three, right? So vinyl, iron-on, and paper are, they are, they can cut, all the machines can cut that. But the Maker 3 cuts all different kinds of materials, including some pretty strange things like um, it can cut the cover to your mat, it can cut aluminum foil, it can cut copy paper, fabrics of all kind, burlap, um, and as I mentioned, wood chipboard, uh, crepe paper is something that only can be done on the maker. Hi, Mom. Hi. Mom's here. Say hi. That doesn't go there, but that's okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You sleep well? Yeah, I did. How about you? Yeah, pretty good. Good. Yeah, yeah. So, Mom is here, and, um, oh, everybody's saying hi, Mom. Yeah, tell the animals She She said, um... Oh, hi, Miss Ina. Somebody knows your name, Mom. Our Dean and Shirley and Leslie. Yes, they're all saying hello. The animals are all set. Um, What'd you say? It was on the television, my name, a couple of times. Oh, really? Oh, Ina. Yeah. Ina. Nice. Mom is in charge of feeding the guinea pigs, so she does that. Uh, for us every morning. We have four guinea pigs and she's been taking care of it. Oh, Santo's home and um, he just came home yesterday late and uh, he's already working. He's already been running around the house getting things. Hopefully he can find my Christmas tree because I still haven't got it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to set it up. Um, let's see. This weekend i am going to be making an an appearance as mrs claus at the breakfast with santa at create and escape in downtown pbd square which is run by my friends when uh, wendy and pasquale and um it's really going to be fun i my my costume came i got my costume i haven't got my wig yet so i'm really hoping that my wig will show up if you are local and want to come and say hello i will be there on saturday morning probably from nine to at least 12, nine to 12, one, but they're actually having a program so the kids can meet Santa and um, make some crafts and stuff like that. And so if you have a little that would like to do that, then you can, uh, you can sign up using Wendy's link. Now this one I'm going to cut out. I'm going to go back. Let me just show you what I got here going on. So I'm going back to my, um, to my material. So I'm going to go to browse all material and down at the bottom, I am going to vinyl. So here's vinyl and at the very top of vinyl is adhesive foil. So I'm going to choose that. And I am actually going to set the pressure to more because it this is pretty thick. And I find that if you have that little extra umph, it cuts out beautifully. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. Oh, you guys are all done with your decorating and you... You're putting me to shame. I have I have done nothing. Now I will <laughs> I've done nothing except do these programs. So I gotta take some I gotta take some time off. So I will be off on Monday and Tuesday of next week. Now tomorrow is Friday, so we'll have our winner on Friday for the uh, for the weekly cricket community with the cutie so um, stay come and 
come for that and then also come for the project. We're making uh, these, we're making snowflake. Look at how pretty these are. I did these yesterday. We're going to make snowman faces on these. Okay, and uh, that's tomorrow. So, so tomorrow is the snowman faces and the winner. And then Saturday is my breakfast with Santa and Mrs. Claus. The best one is Mrs. Claus, right? And then I am off for a couple of days and I'll see you back here on Wednesday next week. And uh, we'll have a few last minute makes for the holiday. So there's my adhesive foil. Now I'm going to bring you down here so you can just kind of see how this came out. And I take off my tape. I usually put it on the side of my desk. Sometimes the tape is, um, is part of the cut. And all you need to do when you have that issue is use your weeding tool and just sort of take off whatever got cut there. Okay. Now, because I have this extra, I'm going to save it. Put it in my save box, which is underneath my uh, desk. And then you can see here, there is my glitter. I'm going to turn my mat so that it comes off and it doesn't curl. That's the trick to getting it so it won't curl is to actually bend your mat back and take it off. All right. And let me get this other piece. Bend. There we go. All right, so let's have a look at all of our pieces that we have. I'm getting smarter at this. I, I put them all in a Ziploc bag so I won't lose anything, you know. And here is the gold bows. I'm going to take my weeding tool and I am going to grab, I hope it works. Come on now. <laughs> there, there, there. Okay, so I am just going to weed this. Why is it not weeding well? Oh my goodness, it didn't work. All right, you guys. Didn't work too well. So let's have a look at the other ones. Not sure why that happened, but so you know, sometimes, sometimes, okay, these ones are working fine. All right. I'm glad I put that extra pressure on. If I didn't, that would have caused a problem here. Let me just cut this with my knife. Not sure why that did that. Now, I do change my blade uh, regularly. I cut every single day. So I change my blade once a month, but I hadn't considered that I've been using my machine a lot more for the holidays. So it might be that my blade needs to get uh, changed again. So that might be the case. Although I haven't seen it except for here on this too much. All right. All right. I'm having trouble. Here we go. This one ripped a little bit here, but that's okay. Okay, let's have a look at all of our pieces. Yikes, here they are. Let's sort them out. Once you get them cut out, we're going to sort them out. I have uh, enough to make more than one. So I'm going to put them in a little pile here. And like with like, right? So here's the big, the big pieces. There's the head. And then we've got this, and there's for our, for our presents. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just filtering them all out so that I know I'm getting every single piece. This is what happens when you cut more than one. 
and you can indeed cut more than one. So, um, if you're the kind of person like me, I don't like to waste paper. And so I'd rather cut more and then I have some that I can give away or whatever the case may be. All right. So there are all of our pieces. Actually, I didn't sort these ones. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take one of each. So we need this and this this and this we need for the head we need the black the blue the glitter and the white there's the white and a mouth so that's for just for the yeti and then for the bows we have over here so let's put the yeti together first let me move all of this stuff out of the way Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? That's what my son would used to say when he was little. Okay. So we're going to just glue these pieces together just like this. Get my glue out. You want to make sure with all of these little uh, zigzags that you get your glue all the way to the edge. And then you can fill in the rest. All right. Okay. Just I want to make sure that you know, I get the right side of this. Okay, so there you go. One piece down. This piece goes on here. Isn't it cute how the hands and the feet show up there? I think I got this backwards. There we go. So you guys are all caught up on all of your shopping and stuff. Not me. Yikes, not me. Um, I think my son wants the weirdest stuff. He, he, um, he, he's so, he's such an old soul. Like he wants things like a VCR. I'm like, why, why? I mean, even DVD players are, you know, kind of, frankly, mostly obsolete with streaming services, but he's like, no, I want, I want a VCR, um, to play. I don't know what he's playing, but he wants, he wants the VCR. So I have to go find that. And then he wants Polaroid film because I happen to have a lot of Polaroid, uh, cameras. My father was a Polaroid, uh, one of the original Polaroid people. So, so I'm having a little hard time with this piece of black. Don't know why. Let's see. Why is this not matching? There, there's the match. All right. Uh, right. So he, he asks for the weirdest things and he really likes camera photography and stuff like that. So, trying to get him into that but why not use why not use the current technology nope he wants old film and old you know old cameras so i don't know <laughs> i don't know he's a weird one uh but he's mine so that's all that matters right but every year he types up he literally types it up on his old typewriter, his wish list that he calls his manifesto. <laughs> this is my Christmas manifesto. And this year he cut it, he did it. And he, the piece of paper was, it was small. I was really surprised because there weren't, um, 
there weren't a lot of things on it, but it was really, it was really small. And he like actually ripped it out of the paper. He did it on like notebook paper and, uh, and I lost it. And I was like, what's on there? I did notice he really likes to um, do iron on. So I got him actually a new uh, Easy Press Mini because he really likes that. So I got him one of those. And he was talking about my light. I like my light. And so I don't know if I'm going to give him my light. So um so I might have to buy him another light. Oops, I forgot the mouth. I think the mouth is ever so slightly small, larger for this area. It doesn't like quite fit in there. So I probably should have uh, put it in there before I put that glitter on. Or you can just squish it like I did. Now, putting this together... Um, I am using these. These are called pop dots or I call them pop dots. Basically what they are, are just adhesive foam. They're foam with adhesive on both sides. And the way that I wanted to put this together. So here's the hand, uh, I'm sorry, the box that's going to be like the present. It's this. And he's going to be holding this in his hands, sort of like this, right? And I wanted to give him a little bit of dimension. So what I decided to do is put the pop dots here and only up to his elbows because um, I wanted his hands to be sort of free. And here I am reusing this. So I already used all the dots in here. So I'm just using the leftover here. And because it's going to get stuck on glitter, I'm going to use a lot more. Glitter is a little bit difficult to glue onto or to attach to. So keep that in mind. Of course, you don't have to use glitter, but I wanted to show you all the fun things you can do with the Cricut mystery boxes. I know some people, they they get every single mystery box. And some people are like, why would I want a mystery box? So, so um, one of the things that I like to do is show you what you can make with some of the stuff that comes in there. I always find something to make with those mystery boxes. So, so there is my back. I, there are a few little extra dots pieces here that I can take out. All right. All right. And then I'm going to line it up right here. I'm going to press really hard because I really want it to stick. All right. And then we can take our, let's go ahead and glue this. Uh oh. Mosaic iron on. Yeah, actually, I got a bunch of new iron on in. Um, mosaic, do you mean the circle mosaic or the square mosaic or, or anything? You know what I, <coughs> I have trouble with <coughs> is the mesh. I have a really hard time coming up with ideas for the mesh, um, iron on, I guess because I don't have a kid that is seriously into sports or something, but I don't know. Anyway, so um, normally you, I use adhesive foil. I use transfer tape when I'm doing adhesive foil, but I found that since this is kind of a, a chunky image, I could just do use my hand, but I have to take this part out. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to line this up. There we go. Isn't that cute? So cute. So cute. 
All right. And then I'm going to practice to see that I haven't put the head on yet. Now, the reason why I haven't put the head on yet is that I wanted to just float this idea with you guys. I couldn't find my action wobbles, but wouldn't this look fun as an action wobble? Oh my gosh, I think it would look hilarious. So, of course, I placed an order for them. Um, so, if you don't know what an action wobble is, it's just like a little spring that you put on the back that sort of um, that sort of gives the gives the product like some movement. But since I don't have my action wobbles, I'm just going to use this. I know, Dorothy. I know the action wobble looked great. Only I, I needed to order more, and I was like, oh, I don't have a project, and they're kind of expensive. I get mine at uh, at Amazon, so I just placed the order. I'll probably get it in tomorrow, right? If it get it in tomorrow, I'll still show you guys what it looks like with the action wobble. And. Let's see, I want to just line this up and there you go. You see that? Now to make it an ornament, we need a little bit of, what do you think? Red, how about green? Green would look nice or maybe gold. I don't know, maybe I'll do all different ones. Okay. And if you have a hard time threading through teeny tiny holes, uh, get yourself a needle point needle that is good for baker's twine or for this is ribbon. And we're just going to take and put that through all three holes. Take one side out. May have cut it a little too long. Here we go. All right. And there you have it. Your, your own abominable snowman uh, for your Christmas tree. Isn't that cute? I just love this project. So cute. Very cute. What? You have snow, six to eight inches of snow in Wisconsin? Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. So there it is. Isn't it cute? Um, and it just, I don't know, just so adorable that even if you don't have gift cards, but you want to make something for your tree, there you go. But I was thinking it would be nice, like especially when you have all adults and you're giving each other gift cards and stuff, that, um, that you hang them all in the tree and maybe you just write their name on there, like Owen or something like that. So he knows that that's his gift card and then you could use them over and over. I don't know. It seems rather cute to me. So that is today's lesson. Um, and we, yeah, just make one for your tree. You could, I'm not sure if you can do it on the joy in that because, um, of his size, but it's a possibility. Um, and, and that's our resident joy expert. So she's the one that, um, has always, oh, I see a little mistake here. I think that Sando found my tree. He went down in the basement and I think he might have found the tree. Yay! All right, everybody. That's going to do it for me for today. Um, and so um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If today is a snow day for you, as I'm hearing from other people, this might be the perfect um, the perfect little project for you to do today for your Christmas tree or for gifts. And I hope that you follow me on both YouTube and on the Cricut community so you can learn how to do this and a lot of other fun projects. Thank you so much for your time today and I will see you again tomorrow um, at nine o'clock same time and we will be doing our snowman face ornaments with the glitter ornaments 
This is, um, these are the disc size ornaments like we use for the Grinch, but instead of using green glitter or any kind of glitter, I used the translucent hex glitter and I wanted it to look like a snowman. So that's what I'm doing here. And uh, tomorrow we'll, I'll show you how I did that. Okay. Thank you everybody for coming and we will see you again tomorrow. I hope have a lovely day. And if it's a snowy day, you know, take it easy, get some crafting in. It's nothing like a nice afternoon of crafting when the weather is really bad, right? So thanks everybody. Um, we'll see you again tomorrow. Oh, hi, Diana. All right. Thanks everybody. We'll talk to you later. Take